Dear sisters and brothers, today we should sing to one another a happy birthday. Pentecost marks the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles and the birth of our Church. So it is a day of great joy and celebration for us as Catholics. In today's first reading, taken from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear about the events that took place on the first Pentecost. The Apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting, and something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. That event was a powerful manifestation of God's presence. The first disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues. It transformed them from fearful and uncertain men into bold and confident witnesses of the gospel. They went out into the streets and began to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ to all who would listen. Saint Luke reported that those who were living in Jerusalem, but came from other nations, could hear the apostles proclaiming the good news in their native languages. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost not only marked the beginning of the Church, it continues to inspire and guide us to this day through the power of the third person of the Holy Trinity. In today's Gospel we hear Jesus asking his disciples to accept his peace. Then. He gives them the authority to forgive people's sins in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. He said to them, Peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Dear friends, the Holy Spirit is the source of our holiness. He helps us to understand the teachings of Jesus, to live them out joyfully in our daily lives and pass them on to others. Let us open our hearts to the Holy Spirit not only today, but every day. Let us invite him to fill us with his presence and power. Let us ask him to guide us and help us to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Let us remember that our Christian vocation is to follow in the footsteps of the Apostles and to become agents of God's love and mercy in this world, starting with our families. Today, please remember especially those among us who find it difficult to believe or to practice their faith. May the Holy Spirit come upon them and all others who feel lost and confused in their spiritual journey. May they be filled with God's grace and accept Jesus' message of love and mercy. Also, let us remember in our prayer all those who persecute Christians around the world. Just as the Holy Spirit transformed St. Paul from a persecutor of the early Church into one of its greatest saints, the Holy Spirit can heal and convert anyone even the greatest enemies of God. Come, Holy Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Amen.